Hey everyone, today on Guitar Basics we're going to be learning how to change the strings on an acoustic guitar. Uh, but before we start, the first couple things you're going to need is you're going to need a pack of strings, uh, you're going to need a tuner, you're going to need a tool to cut the strings. You can either use uh, one of these multi-tools which also has a turner which basically turns your, uh, loosens or tightens your guitar strings. Uh, you can also use a needle nose uh, pliers if you want. You're going to need uh, a pencil, which I'm going to tell you about that. It's a little trick that I use. And uh, optional, you're going to need some lemon oil, which uh, you're going to use to clean the fretboard of the guitar if you want. It's all optional, of course. And uh, some, uh, I use Smith Pro Formula Polish to, uh, to polish the body of the guitar. Okay, so now we'll move into what we got to do first. Okay, so step number one, we're going to take all the strings, and like I said, I have this tool, we're going to loosen all the strings. Okay, once you're done loosening all your strings, we're going to cut them one by one. I'm going to use my tool here that I have to cut them. Uh, just hold one part of the string and cut the other one. It doesn't really matter where you cut it. Sometimes they'll, uh, they'll spring up, so make sure they're not close to your eyes or anything like that. You don't want to get a string in the eye. That could probably hurt. Okay, now that we have everything uh, removed, what we're going to do is we are going to remove the strings from the headstock. So removing the strings from the headstock is no real magic. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to untwist them like so, and then pull them out. What I always do, just so it's easier when you throw them in the garbage, is I twirl them up like this so that they don't uh, you know, break the garbage bags and stuff like that. Nothing crazy. Okay, now that we have half the string off, what we're going to do is we're going to use my tool here has a little bit of a, a, a nub in there, and we're going to remove the bridge pins. Now with a tool like this, all you have to do is insert, and then pull up a little bit, and it pulls your bridge pin right out. Now don't lose these, because you're going to need them, of course. So take each string out. Now I suggest if you're using needle nose pliers so that you don't actually damage the side of the bridge pins, um, I usually wrap masking tape around the, uh, around the needle nose pliers so you don't damage anything. Okay, next step. Okay, this is when the optional part comes in. Um, if you'd like to keep your fretboard nice and clean, I suggest using lemon oil. And all you have to do is get uh, a microfiber cloth and just put a little bit on. Just a little bit. And then just rub it into the wood. And what that'll do is that will condition the wood and it will keep it nice and clean and stop it from uh, from bowing or drying out or anything like that. And just go all the way down the neck. Okay, once you've got the lemon oil on all the strings, you want to wipe off the excess so that you don't have your wood actually wet. It's just meant to condition, it's not meant to stay on there. So once you get them all uh, all covered, and you get the oil rubbed in, just make sure you wipe all the excess off, like so. Okay, 
Moving on. Okay, this next step is also optional. I'm going to use this Smith Pro Formula Polish to polish onto the wood. And what that does is the same thing as the, uh, as the lemon oil did for the neck. It's just going to polish. It's going to preserve. It's going to keep your guitar nicer for longer. So just spray it on. And I suggest using a different microfiber. And then you just rub it into the wood. You can use this type of polish on a satin finish and also a laminate finish. This guitar is a satin finish guitar. Just get it all rubbed in. And then do the same for the sides and the back of the guitar. Okay, now that we've got the body of the guitar all polished, which again is optional, we've got all our strings, we've taken them out. The .013, in this case, is our smallest string, the high E. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start with the big E string, which as you can see here, is the .056 in this case, okay? So take the string out. Now whatever you do, don't bend it like, like you would bend a piece of paper because that'll ruin the string, of course. Okay, so this is the top of the string and this is the butt of the string. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the butt of the string into the saddle with one of our bridge pins. So I'll zoom in. Okay, so butt first. This part's gonna go and you just have to slide it in just a little bit. Not very much, just a little bit. You're gonna take your bridge pin with the, the little groove on the bridge pin, you usually face that forward because the string is going to run along that inside like so. So just put it in like that and push your bridge pin down. Push your bridge pin down with your thumb and give the string a nice little pull and you'll feel it slide up and it'll tighten, okay? Now we're gonna move up to what we're gonna do with the string at the headstock. Okay, now that we have the bridge pin stuck in and the string is, is uh, nice and sturdy down at the body, we're going to take our string like so. And this is where the pencil comes in. We're going to take a pencil and we're going to, a mechanical pencil works really well for this, and we're going to just right in between here where the, uh, where the strings go into the nut, we're just going to draw with the pencil. Now what this does is this makes for a slippery environment which will help your guitar not go out of tune. Sometimes if you have a cheaper guitar, and sometimes an even more expensive guitar, and I still do it on mine, what will happen is when you're tuning, or if your strings are not completely tight around the tuning machines, which we're gonna go over in two seconds here, um, what'll happen is your string will let loose or tighten onto the tuning machines, but it will get stuck on your nut and then if you play a little bit too hard, it could dislodge it, which will make the string extend, which will put you out of tune. Now what this does, putting the lead in here, is it makes it so it slides so it won't get stuck. It's a really, really great little trick that my guitar teacher taught me years ago, and I've been using it ever since. It really helps to keep your guitar in tune. So now that we have that done, we'll take our E string, we're gonna push it into the little slot that it has here for the, uh, for the E string. And as you'll see, once you're into the nut here, the string goes in between here. It doesn't go on the outside, it goes on the inside all the time. Even when it's on this side, it goes on the inside. We'll show you, I'll show you exactly what we have to do. Now for me, what I do is I pull it tight hold it at the nut here so that it doesn't move, as you can see, and I usually wrap it around once and hold it. I take my thumb and I put my thumb in there so it won't move. Sometimes one loop around will do, sometimes it won't. We'll do two. I'll hold it with my thumb here and then take the string and then push it through the hole.
Now, as you can see here, the string comes out on top of the loops. That's what you want. So if you hold, push. Okay, now this is what you have. Now this is when you don't have to worry about this part because you're gonna cut it off. You can take this, give it a push, and really pull it in like that, okay? Now that we have that done, we can cut this excess off. So with our cutter, don't cut too much, but we'll cut it just here for now, just in case. Just in case we need to pull it again. Now that that's cut, we take our machine and we tighten the string. Okay, now another little trick that I was taught, and I'll show you right now. Now a good trick to make sure that your string gets tightened around your tuning machine just perfectly is to hold your string with your hand probably between the third and the fifth fret and take this part of your string and pull up just lightly. And what this will do is this actually, this pulling up motion takes the string from here and it pulls it back so it tightens it. And you can see what I mean. Listen to the tone. Okay. Now I'll do it again. Now remember, listen to this. Hear that note? And see how much it tightened? Now this is also a good time to bring in your digital tuner and you can tune this big E string. Right now I'm at a C sharp. That's pretty low. Okay, now that's a perfect E, and now let's try this one more time. Now, I've broken strings by pulling this too much before. You only need to pull it a little bit. Now we're back down to an E flat. Up a little bit more. Now this process will probably have to be done, I'd say, at least one to two times per string. Because as you put the tension onto the neck, your strings will pull a little bit tighter or get a little bit looser as they tighten around your tuning machines. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the A string and the D string and the G string and then we're gonna, gonna catch up with you on the B and the high E string, okay? Okay, now that we finished the E, A, D, and G string, which are all the wound strings, now we're gonna move on to the B string. And as before, we're going to use the butt of the string. As I showed you before, we're going to place it into the saddle with our bridge pin with the groove facing forward. So I'll do that back here. And give it a, a, a nice pull. And we're going to bring it forward. And like I said, the strings always enter into the middle of the headstock and then wrap around the headstock from the center. So now that we're on our B string, we're gonna bring our B into the nut, into its little, uh, its little groove there, which I already put the pencil into. And we're gonna come down here. Now, like I said, a good way to do it is to hold it here, and then it won't go anywhere on you. And you wanna wrap the B and the high E string around at least three wraps and make sure your wraps are on top of each other and not underneath each other. So I've wrapped it three times. I'm gonna use my fingernail to hold the string there so it doesn't move like so. And then I'm gonna come around with the string and push it through so that it comes out above the turns or above the wraps. And then as you can see, there's a little part here. Take a little loop, push that loop with your finger to the front and then give it a pull and it should go tight. Okay. Now again, you can cut this part off. 
Okay. Now we're going to get our little twister here. And we're going to give it a nice twist. Wrong way. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, now like before, we're going to put our hand on it like so. We're going to grab the string and going to give it a few light nudges. And again. Okay, now we'll get our tuner. We'll tune the B. We're a little bit flat. Okay, there's pretty much perfect B, but now we're again, we're going to hold it, we're going to pull our string up a little bit, make sure we get it nice and tight, now let's test it again, oh, we're flat again, so you'll have to do this a few times until the strings stretch, they have a little bit of a stretch in them, so you want to let them stretch and let them settle just like anything else, okay, now that's a B, now we'll do it again, give it a little pull, Let's try it now. A little bit flat again. Okay, now we'll move on to the high E string, the last one. Okay, last string. So let's get our high E string out. We'll get our last bridge pin here. And again, we'll get the butt of the string. And you'll get quicker at uh, changing these strings as you go along. After you do them, probably about two or three, maybe three or four times, it just becomes second nature. But it's good to learn how to do them properly so that, uh, well, first of all, it's going to keep your guitar in tune. Your strings are going to last longer because if you uh, if you wrap them in properly, it can cause bends, it can cause twists, and then they just, the strings just won't last. So again, like we saw here, just going to put it into the groove, hold it at the groove with your thumb or your, or your index finger, whichever you want. And again with the high E, we're going to wrap it around the tuning machine at least three times. If you can get it four times, that's good too, but at least three times. I've done it three times. Now I'm going to thread the end of the string through here. I'm going to make sure again that it comes out on top of the loops. And then I'm going to give it a nice pull. Okay, now this part can be, can be taken off. So we'll cut this excess away, and then we will tighten the string while we hold our thumb on the other end, like this, onto the, uh, onto the bridge pin. You don't want that coming out. Sometimes the tension will pull it out. Now let's see how we're doing for tuning. Ooh, we're at a B, we gotta go a little higher. E flat, so we gotta go one step higher. And there we have it. Now again, we're gonna do this little trick here. So fingers on the fifth to the, to the third fret. Give it a nice little pull. Again, what this does is it pulls the string downwards and it, uh, it tightens the string around the tuning machine. One more pull. Now, since we've put all the strings on our guitar here, as you do that, the tension on the neck actually changes. So if I was to check the tuning of our big E, we're down to an E flat now.
All right. And that is how we change the strings on an acoustic guitar. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck.